Iraqi security forces were deployed in the northern Iraqi oil city of Kirkuk on Sunday to prevent further violence as the death toll in clashes between ethnic groups the previous day rose to four. Four protesters were shot dead on Saturday in clashes between ethnic groups in Kirkuk that broke out after days of tensions. According to the police and medical sources, all four were Kurdish. Fifteen people were also wounded during the clashes in the city of Kirkuk, controlled by the Iraqi government and home to diverse groups of people including Kurds, Turkmens and Arabs. Curfew had been lifted and vehicles were moving normally in the city on Sunday, but security forces had deployed additional troops to prevent violence and protect civilians. Residents informed that police detained several people on Sunday who had participated in the clashes, but police refused to comment on any arrests. The clashes followed days of tensions over a building in Kirkuk that was once the headquarters for the Kurdistan Democratic Party, that is KDP, but was used by the Iraqi army as a base since 2017. Iraq's Federal Supreme Court issued an urgent ruling on Sunday obliging the government to delay procedures regarding the handover of the building to the KDP. Dozens of protesters, mainly members of the Iran-backed Asaib al-Al-Haq militia and their supporters, have set up tents near the GOC headquarters since Sunday evening to protest to the potential return of the KDP. They have blocked access to the highway and vowed to continue the demonstrations until Prime Minister Shia al-Sudani retracts his decision, Rudaw Kurdish News Agency reported. Kirkuk, an oil-rich province in northern Iraq, along the fault lines between the Kurdish Autonomous Region and areas controlled by Iraq's Shiite-dominated central government, has been the focus of some of the country's worst post-Islamic state violence. Arab residents and minority groups who say they suffered under Kurdish rule have protested the KDP's return to the city. Similar clashes are also happening between Kurdish-led forces and groups in Islamic militias and tribes in eastern Syria. The violence has killed 49 fighters from both sides and 8 civilians, according to the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights War Monitor. The involvement of the pro-Iran militias also has another dimension. Late in August, Iran and Iraq formalized an agreement to dismantle Iranian Kurdish dissident factions stationed in the northern regions of Iraq and relocate them from their bases. Historically, Iran has intermittently executed targeted operations against the Kurdistan Democratic Party in Iran and other Iranian Kurdish dissident elements operating within Iraq's semi-autonomous Kurdish region adjacent to Iran's borders. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.